What is up and let's jump straight into it. This is finding out how to build an app without knowing how to code. We're gonna break down this video in four to five categories. We're gonna talk about websites, app builders, mobile builders, automation tools, and distribution products. With that being said, let's kick off with websites. One of the best no-code tools in the market for you to go into to build a website from scratch that does not look templatized is Webflow. Now Webflow is not like a Wix or any other drag and drop website builder out there. It's technically a little more advanced and it offers you that non-templatized approach. A website built on Webflow does not look like a yucky Wix website. No offense to Wix, Wix is fantastic, but they're built for the uber beginner audience. If you want to separate yourself out from the rest of the world, you want to check out Webflow and how they've gone ahead and done their particular product. Now it does require a bit of CSS knowledge but honestly that's going to be a key differentiator. If you understand a bit of CSS that will help you and let you go a long way. They've got great documentation, you've got your CMS straight through to them, you can build up your blog and you also can do a lot of programmatic programming when it comes to launching stuff via Webflow, the embedded areas that they've got, animations and so on and so forth. It's very very powerful. So Webflow is one thing I would definitely check out if I'm building a website from scratch. The next product I want to mention is Card. That means Card with two R's. Card comes one step before Webflow where you want to have something even more simpler than how Webflow actually approaches things. Honestly, it's a great product to just simply launch a landing page, send it out to a bunch of people, get some email addresses and some hype across what you're trying to build and acquire some customers. Now Card is fantastic because that pace to launch is ridiculously fast and the barrier to entry is absolutely minimal, which Web, uh, Webflow has to some extent with knowing a bit of CSS, but Card doesn't even have that. It's extremely straightforward and it's very, very affordable. Sweet, so that's something I would expect you to check out if you're going into the no-code environment. Now the other thing for us to look into is Notion. Now Notion is a weird one, I don't know where to exactly put it. Notion does everything for a startup. It's a project management tool, a calendar management tool, it is a to-do list application, it's a collaborative pro but what we've seen a lot of people use Notion for these days is actually to build their websites. You can combine Notion with a product called Super. Well, that lets you go ahead and lets you take a Notion URL and map it to a custom domain. Maybe your domain is called uh, bananas.com. You can actually have banana.com load a Notion page and look and feel just like a website based upon how good you are with Notion templating. Notion does not need any code. It's pretty much just like a very nice Evernote. So how do you go ahead and do that? read the different documentations out there, look at other websites that are using uh, super.so, uh, I think so that's what it's called, and it will really help you build a fantastic no-code website using a to-do list. It's, it's fantastic, it's incredible, and it's honestly free, so why not check it out? Now, you might be thinking, okay, these website builders are fantastic, but I want to have a space for my members. Maybe I want to restrict access to certain pages that only paid users have access to, or it's a course or something of that sort. No worries at all, I've got a no-code tool for you just for that. It's called Member Space. Go check out Member Space. It integrates with almost everything from Wix to WordPress to Webflow to, I don't know if they do card, but they do a lot of integrations, Weebly as well. And it's a fantastic way for you to pretty much add payments, gateways, memberships, and so on and so forth into your website without writing a single line of code. Very powerful, really cool product. Again, check them out, member space. The last thing that has to come with websites is called Buy Me A Coffee. Very innovative product, very smart and sneaky, started four years ago. It's a simple no code way for you to add like a little button that is a sponsorship or donation button you can add to your website where people can essentially support you, buy you a, a virtual coffee for $5 and pay you. We've seen a lot of successful people do it through their newsletters, to their websites whenever they built like a donation page. So it works really, really well. So check out Buy Me A Coffee. It's a fantastic product as well to add to your portfolio of no code. Now we're gonna go into the big one. We're gonna be talking about app builders. App builders are a fantastic place for to be if you're trying to build a mobile application or web application without having any code at all. So it's a big space, but let's talk about the key contenders, the ones that are doing really, really well for themselves. The first one, and probably the most important one that you look at is Bubble, which is the biggest one in the market. They've been around for the longest time. You can pretty much build an iOS, Android, and web application using just their tool. The innovative part about Bubble compared to the other ones I'm gonna mention soon is Bubble actually lets you even handle the front-end and back-end management, a great user management tool, and it lets you launch some pretty nice iOS and Android applications. You can launch pretty much a Facebook equivalent or an Airbnb equivalent very soon. So Bubble's something for you to look at. Do note that Bubble does need a bit of experience to get really 
good at it, but Bubble is by far the most powerful one of all the app code tool builders out there. So bubble.io if I remember correctly. Now, direct competition to Bubble is Adalo that launched a couple of years ago, well after Bubble did. But the reason why Adalo's absolutely taken off and gone off the market is because Adalo's got a very simple user experience. Now Adalo, as recording this video, is focused more towards iOS and Android apps predominantly, not web applications, but their experience layer is only growing and becoming much better. It's a fantastic product to go ahead and build things around websites or, uh, no, well, sorry, web app builders or gym partnership pages or blogs or anything that is an app effect but it's pretty straightforward. Adalo is a fantastic tool for you to go ahead and try it. I know I mentioned a lot of website things, but you get the vibe where it gives a very simple, straightforward product for you to build like catalog pages, marketplaces, and so on and so forth. All right, the third one I want to mention is actually a pretty cool product that launched just a couple of years ago, maybe one or two years ago. They're called Glide Apps. Now, the difference between Glide Apps and Bubble or Adalo that I've mentioned is Glide Apps is basically built of the backing of Google Sheets. So your entire database for your entire app is going to be done via Google Sheets. While the other two products had their own self-hosting service, this one you can go ahead and host via Google Sheets and it'll basically be built onto an iOS and Android application. It's a fantastic product for you to build really cool mobile applications around things like gym management, membership tool, marketplace, buying and selling products, or anything that's doing tracking of particular tools, stocks, or so on and so forth. So fantastic product because you've got the sweet and power of Google Sheets and that's integrated to things like you know Google Finance so if you're watching this video and you're tracking the GME um, stonk uh, update downgrade whatever is happening with that short product right now you can easily go ahead and integrate the price tag or the ticker of GME on your Google Sheets and easily go ahead and build a tricker that goes ahead and tracks uh, the success of a particular stock on a mobile application. So that's uh, what I would do if I was checking that product out. The last one, which is a notable mention I want to make is called AppSheet. They're a fantastic product. I haven't seen them much in the news, but they're very, very popular and a lot of people like them. And what I've seen is the general utility of AppSheet has come in the service management sort of environment, construction, digital products, digital agencies, marketing agencies, lawyers, anyone in the services space have really come to use uh, this particular product really well because it does a lot of the ad hoc work and it lets you build custom tools that looks like it's built just for that company. Imagine being you know, a two-person agency that has their own app. It makes you feel and look like a really big company. So that's something I would encourage you to check out. Now, a notable mention I want to make amongst all the main categories is basically voice apps. Now, as Jeff Bezos, Musk, and a lot of very, very big people have said, voice apps are going to be a very strong future. We're not seeing it yet, but it's going to be a very strong future moving ahead. Even Gary Vaynerchuk has mentioned this. However, there's a lot of focus on mobile and iOS and web apps, but not much focus on no-code tools for voice apps. This is where I want to bring about the next product. VoiceFlow is a fantastic tool that lets you go ahead and build end-to-end no-code Alexa, as well as like um, Google voice apps, where you can pretty much build an entire application that does whatever comes like booking movie tickets, booking flights, uh, finding out the weather, even though that's native. You can do lots of complex product builds using no code and just voice using this particular product. So check them out if you have a chance or if you want to build or go down that path. And like I mentioned, this is basically going to be the fourth one, but probably one of the most important ones and where developers actually come to use. We know that no code tools have been around for websites and mobile apps for a bit, but automation is kind of where majority of the work of the developer comes in, i.e. connecting A to B and making sure we do A, B or C or custom logic. One of the biggest no code evangelists or products in the world is Zapier. If you haven't heard of Zapier, what they essentially do is let you connect two companies unconnected products. Startups in this day and age are basically taking utility problems that everyday person faces and essentially combine six or seven services that tentatively are not meant to talk but make them talk and essentially give you output. This can be when someone goes ahead and adds something on a Google Sheet to go ahead and ping a particular API or ping an API, take the information from that API, put it into a Google Sheet and then maybe delete something from Zero, which is your accounting software. So Zapier is a tool that lets you do integrations across 2000 different apps with that zero code requirements. So check them out. They're a fantastic tool and they've done really well. They raise a bunch of money too. The other one I want to mention is Airtable. It kind of is no code. It's 
kind of not. Airtable is basically, uh, as I call it, Excel or Google Sheets on steroids. It goes on an API first product. It has a lot of really cool features, a lot of technical uh, implementations, formulations, and the way they operate is fantastic. Check out Airtable as a way to go ahead and do some layer of automation across anything that you're trying to work it on a CSV or spreadsheet level. Now we've spoken about these two things, but how about actually what you might hire a developer for, like scraping pages or connecting things across auto liking things on Facebook or getting information about a user's LinkedIn profile or getting information about a website. How do you do that? Because right now you can hire a developer to scrape that for you or run a connection or do something on an automation. So a solution for that is called Phantom Buster. Phantom Buster. It is an extremely powerful product that has all these weird recipes for fetching things from a Chrome extension to going ahead and liking things automatically to getting people to go ahead and upvote your Medium post on automation, right? All these things that you would get a developer to build for you, Phantom Buster does that without a single requirement of code. So Phantom Buster is something I would absolutely encourage you to look at if you're looking at something to do with automation. Now the last mention, which is basically around distribution. Now distribution can come across different, software and so on and so forth but I'll mention two main things this time around if you're selling a product or you're selling a digital tool you don't need to worry about building an entire landing page worrying about your payments and worrying about what happens across uh, acquiring customers getting in touch with them sending them emails to go ahead and buy a product Gumroad handles all of that for you for scratch and pretty much a very very nominal fee so I would use Gumroad if I were ever launching a digital product in fact I do have digital products on Gumroad that I've made money from so Gumroad is something I would use now with do to with mailing distribution I've mentioned Mailchimp that's something that you can definitely use there's also ConvertKit that is more on a blogger focus also completely no code tools as well but the main thing that I would look at right now which is going quite well is Substack if you're trying to build a newsletter and that requires absolutely no code Substack is a fantastic way because it's free and it's a fantastic way for you to go ahead and also have an environment where you've also got your newsletter content automatically posted onto a website format. So that means all the newsletters that you write are not just lost in newsletters, but they're actually indexed onto a website. So your previous customers, new customers, or readers can actually go read your old content all automatically without needing any code. So there you go. This is my roundup for absolutely awesome no-code tools for you to start and build a business. We've done this with our own products where we use these exact tool sets to build, grow, scale, and actually make money. So I'm sure you can too. If you've liked this video, I'd absolutely love for you to go ahead and like, subscribe, or leave a comment because it will help me understand how I can make this video better and also help spread the message to other people who are trying to become no-code founders. Thank you and see you in the next one. Bye.